Welcome back to 3 Minute Studio today. We're diving into the story of the 2000 for Indian Ocean Tsunami, one of the deadliest natural disasters in modern history. Let's get started. On December 26, 2004 at just before 8 in the morning local time, the Earth violently shifted beneath the Indian Ocean. A massive megathrust earthquake with a magnitude between 9.1 and 9.3 struck off the west coast of Sumatra, Indonesia. This wasn't just any earthquake. It ruptured a 1,300-kilometer-long section of the seafloor, making it one of the longest fault ruptures ever recorded. This sudden, massive upward movement of the seabed displaced trillions of tons of seawater, setting the stage for a truly catastrophic tsunami. The immense water displacement generated a series of powerful tsunami waves. These waves traveled across the open ocean at the speed of a jet airplane, reaching up to 800 kilometers per hour. But here's the frightening part. Unlike normal wind-driven waves, Tsunami waves have an incredibly long wavelength and carry enormous energy, making them almost invisible in deep water at the time. There were no early warning systems in the Indian Ocean. This meant that millions of people along the coastlines had absolutely no idea what was racing toward them. Within minutes to hours, the silent but deadly waves began to arrive. Northern Sumatra was the first to be hit, and it was hit the hardest, a towering wall of water reaching up to 30 meters high in some places, slammed into the coastline. Entire communities were simply wiped off the map. The city of Banda Asa suffered unimaginable destruction and in Indonesia alone, more than 160,000 people lost their lives from there. The waves continued their destructive journey across the ocean. They struck Sri Lanka next, sweeping through coastal villages, hotels, and even a packed passenger train, causing over 35,000 deaths. In India, the states of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh were hit hard, along with the remote Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Meanwhile, in Thailand, popular tourist destinations like Phuket and Khao Lak were devastated. Thousands of international travelers and local residents were caught, completely off guard by the sudden, powerful surge of water. In total, the tsunami affected 14 countries and killed an estimated 230,000 people, making it one of the deadliest natural disasters ever recorded. The world responded with an unprecedented wave of humanitarian aid, rescue missions were launched, and massive reconstruction efforts began. Crucially, the disaster led to the creation of international tsunami warning systems to better protect vulnerable coastal regions in the future. This immense tragedy fundamentally reshaped our approach to global disaster preparedness and highlighted the life-saving importance of early warning systems. Thank you for watching 3 Minute Studio. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And join us next time for more 3-minute stories from history.